the concept of being a Sikh is not good enough. Conception being a Sikh is right. And you do not know the conception of being a Sikh. You are just born in the concept of a Sikh. That's why you cannot be Sikhs. That's why we fall apart. That's why things happen. And this will continue happening if we do not change our understanding and our attitude. It's for sure. So you ask me the questions, and I'll tell you why it is right and why it is wrong and why right is being done as wrong and why wrong is being concepted as right and where we are being misled. Because you have to survive tomorrow <coughs> as Sikhs and you have to survive, nobody is going to survive for you. It is totally your personal concept. And if the concept is, ha, does not have a conception, you will not remain sick. doesn't matter what you do. You will not have inner vitality which a Sikh is required to have. <clears throat> Therefore, in the long run of life, problems will eat us up. <clears throat> and that's what actually happened all over. It is not concept being a Sikh. It's a very easy way to look at it. Like, and if we do not have a conception, experience, what is a Sikh, then you won't last. Do you understand that? If you understand my words, if you don't, please ask me, I'll explain. I don't understand myself. Hmm? You understand that. Uh, how do you differentiate between concept and conception? Concept, concept. Hai, okay, I'm a Sikh. A concept. I have a wrath. I'm a Sikh. I do my five banis. I am a Sikh. <coughs> I have my Sabbath Surat. I am a Sikh. There are, yes, are con these are all concept. It is a, it is, it is a facade. It is a structure. <coughs> In that structure, you can survive. But there's no depth and experience that you are a Sikh. And if you say you are a Sikh, you are going to be tested as a Sikh. Then there's a certain expectation from you as a Sikh. Then there is certain behavior you have to be a Sikh. Then there are certain values you have to be a Sikh. And all that should come automatically. There should be no variance. <coughs> There should be no shadow. There should be no weakness. It should be natural with you what a Sikh is. And that is a conception. That's not a concept. That's not a theory. That's a living experience. This just, you can give an example. There's a water, there's a clouds, it's going to be rain. This is a concept. But conception is when rain starts happening, and it is as it is. You have been deprived of that as Sikhs. You have never been taught, neither by your parents, nor by your preachers, and not by Sikh organizations. You have been misled. I am very grateful to you that you are still Sikhs, or you call yourself Sikhs. You have not been handled, not taken care of. You have been lied from day one to this day. That's why I started All India Sikh Student Federation. It was purely my idea. <clears throat> we became the strongest organization in India among Sikhs. We were in every college and school, and we saved a lot of Sikh youth. But we were very spoiled. I have come from a landlord family. We had tons of money. We could have done anything. But when we changed, everybody followed the line. They wanted to know why. We gave them the conception. We sat with them. We chanted Nam as should be. We said to each other, let us sit, 10 of us. Let us work it today. Let us see what this damn thing is. Why they chant Vaiguru? Why they chant Satnam? What is Japji? Let us do it. We did it. 
No damn Granthi came and told us what to do, and no Sikh man with a white beard came and said, wait a minute, I'll give you this. Nobody gave us anything. We were just young people. We sat and sat. We did, we did, and we conceived it. Then we became pregnant with it. Then we delivered it, and then we touched to everybody. We became leaders. And we were very effective leaders. We were young. We were teenagers. The only person who understood us was Gyanik Katar Singh. He understood us. He said, well, you are brains. We said, well, we are brains. We are also arms. We are strong. We want Sikh politics not this way. We want that way. We were betrayed every step of the way. So that's why I say these Sikhs are not Sikhs. I know them. I'm not 62 year old just running on the roads. I have dealt with Sikh leadership from day one, and I know they are thieves. If you are going to follow that kind of step, you are going to be dis dissatisfied, frustrated, and you're going to fall apart. I'm telling you, instead of keeping you Sikh, they will try to destroy your faith. They will take your youth and stuck you into a situation. You will never come back safe. I know they did it with us. They did it with us. <laughs> this whole Sikh leadership betrays us four times. We all understood it. <clears throat> they got us in trouble. They lied to us. They sat in Teja Singh Samundri Hall of SGPC. They sat with our representative. My people came back, they said, well, we have decided this. I said, they are, they are lied to you. Let us test it out. I was also in charge of the intelligence unit. We said, no, these Sikhs have already made agreement. They are not telling you the truth. You find it out. And three days later, we found out we have been betrayed. And whole Sikh nation have been betrayed. <coughs> they told Master Tara Singh something different. It was totally out of the way. It was not true. They are not going to support him. They set him up, they withdrew it. He fell on his face. It was agreed from Ravi to this boundary of the whole Punjab will be SSH. It will be a Sikh state under the British domain for 50 years. And then it will be a common domain of Pakistan and India. We thought in 50 years we'll be strong, we'll work it out. They betrayed. They shall betray you. Because they have a concept of Sikh. But he got, my boy is having a beard, he's having a turban, he reads his bani. This all is an ordinary thing. It, everybody can do it. It doesn't make you Sikh. Your presence doesn't work, you are not a Sikh. If your conception cannot penetrate, you are not a Sikh. If you cannot just solidify your position before a person and be solid, you are not a Sikh. This is a Kaal Murat. Where you stand, your presence should speak. And you must be one step ahead of an ordinary, well-versed person. You can't be a yo-yo, you can't a maybe. Shall be. These words are not your vocabulary as a Sikh. What you say is exact. It must go to heart. Head must bow before you. Then you are a Sikh. And our purity, Khalsa, what is it? Khalsa? Khalsa is not all these titles you are talking about. It's the purity and piety of the self, which must work. <clears throat> and you have been misled. I tell you why, why you are being betrayed. We can easily train you. <clears throat> we have grounds, we have legal authority, we have everything. We requested these leaderships to send your youth to us, we'll train them. They never send one person. They lied to us. They are lying to you. <clears throat> Are they betrayed uh, Singh Sahib Jarnal Singh? We were with him, we were training him, his boys were with us, our boys were with him. He got betrayed. 
there was no need for him getting sheath and all that thing. It could have been all very successful. It was all over. They betrayed him. They cornered him and they betrayed him. They let him die. That was Sikh leadership. <coughs> In 1947, they betrayed you. All of you who were not born then. They betrayed. They are the biggest traitor you are dealing with. They have a concept of a Sikh. They have no conception of Sikh. They, they, they sell out. And then the last minute they say, well, it is Satguru Da Panaji. We are not willing to understand that Satguru Ka Pana. Khalsa Mera Satguru Pura, we are perfect, true Gurus ourselves. There's no damn Satguru Ka Pana. As far as we are concerned, we Sikhs decided something, we sat down and we give power to our five and we tell them, go and discuss these way. And that's what Sat Sangat wants. They go and discuss everything and they betray us. Every time you read Sikh history from page to page, you'll find the treachery on every step of the way. How can you survive, young people? They won't let you survive. We sit down together. Sit down as you have come here. Sit down and be together. Sit down and hold each other's hand. And don't forget whose son is who, whose father is who, whose mother is who. Just say, you are my brother, I'm your brother. That's the only way we survived. No damn person is your father, no damn person is your mother. We all decided. Guru Gobind Singh is my father, Mata Sahib Deva is my mother, and we are two brothers of the same Khalsa. That's how this movement started. And luckily I had a tons of money, so I said, doesn't matter, whatever the bill comes, I'll pay. let's do it. And that's how little we started. We all started with five people. Yet they used to go lower and Hira Mandi and the prostitutes and all these young uh, rich boys, they used to do it. We just were separated. We said, no, 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 we are not going to do that. We are, we are going to understand what, why Sri Guru Garanth is our Guru. Why we are Sikhs? What is this? Why we have to have a beard? Why we have to look like that? We started asking each other. And we tie in. And we tie in so strongly, we became a fist. And we get thorn in their neck. They couldn't dodge us. Some hmm? You can't say all the leadership is bad. It is, it is bad. It may be bad but you can, you, you will, that's what I'm telling you. You sit down together, hand in hand, as one unit, and be together. And whenever you are told something, sit together and listen. Even what I am telling you, listen to this, but decide when your consciousness tells you is right. <coughs> Don't ever follow anybody. Accept your own consciousness and consciousness of the brotherhood of the Khalsa, the order of the Khalsa. Sit all of you and look at each other's eyes and just feel it. Don't play games. No leadership is right. You are the leader. You are the tomorrow. Decide that way. Take the responsibility. Put your shoulders under it. That's what, how we survive. They told us a lot of stuff. Oh, this is this. Oh, you are wrong. Oh, that man said, uh, this is all right. Oh, what you heard? Did you hear that? What did he say to you? What did he say? How he was talking to you? What is it? All right, let's pen it down. All right, now let us sit down and discuss it. And then we always came out with the right answer. At Patiala, All India 16 and Fridays have executive meeting. We decided something. We went out. You know what they did? They formed another executive to form another resolution. I said, wait a minute, what's going on? Well, we do not know. I think this resolution is real and this is a facade to dodge this. I said, wait a minute, that's not real. We are six. It's against our character. We're not going to say something different to something different. Who's telling us to lie? Oh, the leadership. I said, what the damn that leadership? We're not going to go for it. We sat down, we decided, we passed a resolution. Immediately the Punjab government agreed. We had no trouble with it. 
But we were as one. We were all bodies, but our soul and our concept, our conception, our, our thoughts, our trust for each other, prosadan, it's just one. And we decided we may be weak, we may be sorry, this guy maybe just can't get up in the morning, that guy cannot, that guy is after that girl. We knew it all, everybody's every affair. But we supported each other and we helped and we brought them to that same strength. That's the only way you can do. You have to cover each other, you have to love each other, you have to understand each other, you have to trust each other, you have to go for each other. And there will be odds in your life, you're not going to be all in one day perfect. You're not going to do that. Can I just make a few points, please? Um, basically, I think, you know, we've got youth from different parts of West Midlands here, partly to show that we are together, we're trying to do things. I'd like to just make a point that, you know, we recognize that maybe we haven't got the support that we should have had from the adult population, from uh, the gold dwellers and what are the secret organizations that are. Uh, we're concerned about what is happening to the youth over here as well. Um, there are a bunch of us that are together, united. We try and support each other's events. Um, what I'm really interested in is you know, <coughs> how can we move forward? I mean, you know, we don't get much support from other people. We try to support each other. But you, you're aware of the problems over here with the youth. They're turning away from security, right? Uh, what, if anything, can you give in terms of help or guidance? I mean, we've met some of your people, and we, you know, Martin Munter here and uh, Nanak here, you know, getting into the guard camp, things like that. But what else can you help us with? We can, we can not only help you, we can even be with you, but the tragedy is that <coughs> we have been working our way in for the last 22 years. And there's a very organized situation that you should not meet us and we should not meet you. And we are aware of it. It's not that we are not aware of it. We are not aware of it only to the extent we pretend we are not aware. There's an organized systematic system from the adult population that you should not meet with white Sikhs. And we are aware of it. We are aware of his basics. We are basic why they are doing. Pardon? That being the case, there's so much of Sangat when, when these Americans seem to keep them in the Gurdwara. If that has been the case, uh, nobody would have turned up to the Gurdwara to listen to the teacher. Who you do not understand, my boy. This is a problem you should understand. That's what I'm trying to tell you. In the beginning, when we were turning to be Sikhs, and we were trying to be Sikhs, at that time, every day there was a fight. Every day there was a uh, arrogance. Every day there was uh, what you call it uh, slender. Every day there was uh, something or the other. Do you know we have fought six law court cases just to remain six from the adult six population? It's on record. Do you know we hold our, what do you call, what is that camp we call that one week? Survival camp. <laughs> Survival camp. Do you know we invite all over the world, anybody can come for one week, they can't send you? There has been a very qualified barrier which we are unable at that time to break for one reason only. We didn't want to offend them in total opposition. Now we are set in a position, now we have budgeted ourselves, now we fully understand, now we are going to attack. And we're going to break those barriers. You must understand, it's not, we are not all independent. I say and it happens, it's not true. There's a Khalsa Council, there is a committee on everything, and it's a kind of parliament of the Sikhs. We discuss things, we budget ourselves, we understand, and you know, this is how we work. Act, then sport, then cover. And then what is the retreat where we have to take our casualties? That's how we function. They came to us three years ago. We decided, all right, we are going to work together. We are going to do all this. We set up the whole thing. We spent all the basic amount of the money we wanted to, and we were ready. Not a single person showed up. 
And only we were expecting 25 young people. Not a single one person came. So there was a setback. Question is, you all will not, you, if you rely on the relationship with the Gurdwaras, it's not going to happen. If you rely on the adults, it's not going to happen. You have to put your own one-tenth together. That's first thing. Second is, you all have to dress up yourself. All of you. That's what we did. We all have to have at least once a week, we are going to meet for three hours. Something like that. And we have to talk to each other as truthfully as we can to trust each other. They won't let you do it. We have done that. We know how they get shaken, these adults. I know how much poison they try to sting in us, but we survived it only with one condition. We will meet once a week, all of us. We were not 25 or 30. We were thousands. So we divided ourselves into circles. Then we had a one leader of the circle. His job was not anything but to communicate. And then the circle start getting it to, into the executive of the three. Then three have to be answered to us. We were asking them as the bosses, what is the position? They will give us accurate position. <coughs> and we knew that area under of youth is under attack, will go and support it. That's the way we played that role. And that's the only way. That's why the, in, in the entire system, Khalsa was decided into missiles. Each missile has Jathidar. They all sat together. Then all the missiles have Panjabiyaras, and they decided finally what is the interest of the Khalsa. And they were very pure people. That's why we could win. And that's the same thing you have to do. You have to decide yourself, not by caste, greed, and anything. You have to decide by yourself, you buy missiles. And each missile should have a duty. It should have a jathida. It should have a leader. <coughs> and all jathida should sit together, subject to the five selected ones from the common self, whom we think they were gurmukhs. I could never be selected in Panjipiyaras. Never. I wanted it very much. I tell you right today. Because I was so aggressive. They never trusted me for that. <laughs> I, mean, I wanted it. I actually wanted among those five to decide things. But I was so aggressive. They said, no. It's OK. They never made me general secretary, though I was the most deserving one. They said, no, you're propaganda secretary. You go and fight and create this ruckus for us and destroy everything and build everything. That's your job. But as secretary general, we want somebody who can sit and think right. <laughs> and you are not that type. I accepted it. You know, I'm, not, I'm telling you what I wanted. I wanted actually to run the whole show. And they say, no, you're not going to do anything. You sit in one corner, and you do whatever you are doing. You are a fuss creator. Create fuss. Fine, we'll support you. But when the scene comes, you are not among those five. And I think they were right. I created a lot of trouble for them. But my idea was, my concept was, I'm not going to wait. Though now I teach patients pace. You just listen to how the effect <laughs> happened. Now I teach patients is the one of the best thing in the world. Now I teach this, I teach that. But at that time, I, the most I wanted immediately, right, on the spot. I was very effective, very convincing, and very progressive, and I, Aung San Hui Guru, I used to say, come on, let's, let's chat with the church. But this never worked. And believe me or not, among those five, one was only 14 year old. He was the Jathidar of the Pajubiara, 14 year old. He was saying, well, things are, what do you say? And I said this. He said, well, what do you say? This. Why is it? OK, then the five will sit. And he'll always sit like this. I can tell you his posture. 
and they talk and talk hours to him, and he'll not budge an inch. In the end, he'll say, well, we are not going to insult anybody. Then they'll say, what should we do? He said, we'll not participate. We all will go away. And about two miles from the main place, we'll sit in the fields, all the young people, 10,000 of them, and we'll sit there and chant, Satnam, Satnam, Satnam Ji, like this. And while well, people bypassing will see what the young people are doing, there'll be nothing in the hall in a couple of hours. Everybody will be there and we'll dump them. <laughs> we never offended anybody. All, and we'll chant like this in a very posture. Satnam, Satnam, sat As we are all drunk, you know, we, we have no sense, we make no sense. But the posture was so perfect. And people go by, you know, and they say, hey, do you see what's happening there? Do you see? Do you see? Oh, everything whispered in the hall, fifty, hundred thousand dollars They had a big Akali conference and all that. And after two hours, they'll find there's not a one person in the hall. Everybody's in those fields. And Satnam, and then they'll come to say, why you do this? I said, you didn't agree. We told you this is not a guru's way. This is wrong. You show us the power, we, we are humble. But you must understand, you are their children. They can't live without you. We knew it the first day. We are the kith and kin. And we knew one concept you have to believe and conception you have received, the Guru is in you. Palepuriyam thought, bad and good as you are, don't worry about it. Just feel the spirit of Guru Gobind Singh is in you. And just feel you are his son, and then decide. It's, it looks like imagery. It looks like hypnosis. But that's the best you can do. This is what we used to think. We should say, we never could carry even Sri Guru Granth anywhere. But you know what we used to say? We, we used to take a pick, a bigger stone, and fix it on a higher place. We say, well, this is the spirit of Guru Gobind Singh. Now let us all get the spirit in ourselves. Let us hold hand with each other. Let us decide who's true. And the person will be wrong, he say, well, wait a minute, I lied. I'm not going to tell you all, but I'm going to tell you all, I lied, I betrayed, and that's the truth. We never ask him why he did it. We say, okay. We are all brothers, let's not do it again. And this is slowly and slowly, we built an organization and a conception in which we are real. You have to be trained in martial art for the sake of the spirit. You have to be trained in self-defense. You have to be trained, if you don't know anything, one thing you all can do. You can put a tape of a car at this uh, uh, job shop. And you can sit in a matha tekana posture, the uh, rock pose, they call it. And when it says namaste, touch the forehead, get up. And read with that. Hold, read a whole job shop like that. You don't need anybody. You will have the spirit you need. You have to do something technically and uh, personally, something which can uh, give you the arousal, which can give you the spirit of the Khalsa, which can give you the drip drishti, the concept to see. You must not live in the fear of tomorrow. You have to put your scene together. You have to put your money together. You have to put your time together. You have to put each other together. If you want to gather together something, you've got to put yourself together and you have to put yourself on the line. That's the only way the youth can work. You cannot go with the oldies. They have their set habits. Now I have my set habits. I'm not going to change. But I never tell my young people to follow me.
you understand that our youth wing is not under our direct command we let them have the freedom and the choice as they feel and sometimes there's a conflict and some people say well these young people are not listening i say oh sure they, they are not supposed to listen they are going to face their own tomorrow i'm not going to tell them today be as i am no i am what i am you are what you are tomorrow is yours carry it as best you can and we watch that's the way it goes my a whole staff sitting here we fight every day they say well you tell us what to do i, say, I don't know you do it i'll watch that was the sick way let the children grow with the sport and the supervision and not sit on them not the co one thing you must understand there are some among you who are weak they will continue make them strong and then you will find some more weak make them strong what you can do to make it just sit with the person just sit don't say one word <clears throat> just sit ask him to put his eyes in your eyes and sit and pray in the heart that that person becomes strong you will get the answers that's why we did we built up a brotherhood of the khalsa so tight among us there were women too young teenage women young girls we treated them exactly as we treated ourselves that's why they could not they wanted to know a story they wanted to know something they were always around here they couldn't find one thing because we made up our mind there is no woman there is no man we are all khalsa and our concept is nothing but purity and piety with that we will win and we won and you got to do the same you have to do the same there's no way you will survive they that they used to talk to me to he tell the malish na kare ka don't massage with oil it spoils the clothes well look at that we used to go to play hockey game after we finish the game we all put our hockeys together and get out in the grooves and we sit down there and chant the naam as we knew we all did it together we all learned how to cook we all learned how to sit we all learned how to pray we all learned how to trust each other heaviest thing of all this is to trust each other and worst of that is to forgive and much worse that than is to admit publicly once i lied i didn't bring the ration myself but i sent it to somebody and i was supposed to bring it myself I mean, can you believe in I mean, the company of 500? I had to admit, yes, I neglected. And you know what the 500 did? Say, we'll chant till the food you bring. Can you believe that? I have to go 15 miles backward, bring the whole load of food, come there, cook it, feed them. It was 4 a.m. I learned my lesson. I said, never I'll do it again. But that's the way it was. I thought I've told these people they will go there. Everything will be set. We'll go. I just became a leader for a moment. Sometimes you get tired. You want it that way. And once in a while, it was a mistake on my part. Sangat never disturbed, never said one word. He said, "Well, you were supposed to bring the food." I said, "Well, I send it." He said, "No, but you send it sitting there." Did you hear the orders? You were supposed to bring the food. I said that's true, but I send it. They said, but that's sitting there. No, I said, what is the command now? I said, go back, and you were supposed to bring the food. Bring the food. They said, are we idiots? Look, food is there. We can eat, and we can. He said, that's not the way. 
The way is you are told by the executive to bring the food. Is true or not? I said that that's true. It doesn't go and bring the food. Fifteen miles. I had to walk back. And I had to bring the food. And then they sat. They never said a word. They ate. And then I was grumbling. You wasted time, you all bunch of crack freaks. You're all fanatics. You don't understand. Nation doesn't move that way. He said, that's why nobody wants you with general secretary. That's why you're public. <laughs> you know, what the hell you are talking about? You were told to bring the food. Is that order clear to you? You do not know how to obey. Therefore, you cannot command, period. I said, yeah, yeah, this is a philosophy. You know, we have wasted so much time. He said, yeah, yeah, that's OK. But I tell you, I learned such a lesson. When they said, you got to do this, I really opened up my ears. <laughs> what do you say? You go this day. I said, OK, I'll exactly do that. And they will not tolerate or accept any alternative. And that's where I learned. Where there's an altar, there's no alternative. And don't play that game. You will be perfect, six. One said, other obey. Love spiritualities. Obey, serve, love, excel. These are four things. 